Okay, so welcome back to one of our Surface Anatomy. So number two, part two, this is all about taking that whole lifestyle concept that we talked about last week and that kind of rolling forward, protraction, wind out of our sails, depressive, let's use that word. I think we shouldn't be ashamed about using that word. It's a stressful process. Life over the last couple of years and what we're living with and life generally can be very overwhelming. So this rounded shoulders stuff, I think I want to just sort of play with a bit. Um, the two muscles that hold our scapula, so that we're looking at the scapula, we're looking at the shoulder blade, and this going forward gives us protraction is the technical word, but let's call it rounded shoulders. Um, and coupled with our upper traps and our deltoid, we get this elevation too. So we get elevation and roundedness, and that's the bit I want to kind of focus on. The two muscles that we're talking about, so here's a sort of a blown up picture of the, uh, of, of the chest. Uh, we take pec major away, and we've got pec minor. Pec minor joins on to the coracoid process, uh, gets its name from a crow's beak, and then it comes down to three, four, and five rib under, underneath our breast tissue. So that's the first muscle. The second muscle is uh, serratus anterior. Now, serratus is often forgotten about. These two muscles, they often, if you're a boxer, these are called your jabbing muscles when you jab, yeah? These are the muscles that take your shoulders forward when you punch. These two muscles get shortened that give us that roundedness. And of course, we know enough about muscles to know they've got to work in pairs. So the muscles behind the back have got to hold us back. So there's weakness in those and over dominance in these. Hence, we get this rounded. So finding the bunny landmarks, let's just find the Chris. Finding the coracoid process is tricky. We come underneath the clavicle, round the deltoid, and we sit in this little kind of cavity here and we're looking for a gristly, kind of feels like the top of your thumb when you press on it. That would be, and from there it comes down onto the chest, three, four or five rib down over the breastplate. And next video, we we'll talk about how to work on it and uh, start to get some techniques for working on it. Um, so today, serratus anterior, under here, underneath the breast tissue, takes the scapula forward, and pec minor sits over the front of the chest. Okay, thanks.